Doherty there working hard, really pumping. Goes off a little early, does the Polish second leg runner come in? Poland go uh, out in lane six from the five teams in the guard. She is running on fresh legs. The uh, next three for the Danes. The Irish, well, they are on operate in these conditions, Jenny. They'll all want to. 12 minutes between high speed repetitions, so good training session for some of them. Well, no, it's it, him. Um, <laughs> really interesting, actually. Ecuador, Denmark, and Poland. Their teams have just gone in the four by one, and the timetable in is that there was only into the four by four. And this is what they do in middle and long distance runners. They probably have Italian squad in this one, but they've had a fabulous day so far. They've won two of the three events so far. It goes on the uh, third leg for Denmark. Allows more people, more opportunities to represent the nation. In the other of the Italians, they're having a brilliant day of finals here in Silesia. So quite a mix of athletes coming at this one. I guess 200 metres fits perfectly in the middle for a lot. And a big shout out to all the officials on uh, races. So Poland on the outside part of the squad. Denmark, Louise Oostergaard, Lena Fransen. Then Eve Lynch, Kate Doherty for the Irish in lane four. Kenya, John Chirono, and Ecuador on the inside with uh, Angela Gabriela Tolba, who's running on fresh legs, and uh, Landa Zuri. Ecuador with. Yeah. One left of pictures, Paulina Guzowska. They lead at the moment. Constantly changes, showing you the leader at each changeover. Poland from Ecuador and Ireland. Not a, up on the Dane Graves guard outside her. Doherty there, working hard, really pumping. Yeah, and this is a very hard race to judge for all those athletes who's running such a... Well, coming to the final changeover for Ireland here, it's Sarah Quinn. She'll hand over to Sophie Becker. There was some pressure being applied from Kramer, but that has, seems to have uh, reduced as a Poland handover. Very casual changeovers of Poland, because I think they know they've got a big, big lead here. The Irish... Well, Ecuador, Suarez it is in this final leg for them, as Kenya bring up the rear at the moment, with uh, Ireland in second place, still three or four metres shy of what they need. Marlena Gola here will not be caught, it's going to be victory for the home nation. Gola storming away and stretching away towards the line, Ireland second, and in third place uh, it was indeed Ecuador. Well, a big win that for the Poles, a very comfortable win as it turned out. Great running from the Irish who were applying pressure right until the last 50 or 60 metres of of that two lap race, the four by 200. Uh, but when you built up a big lead, you do fatigue in your legs. Uh, the Irish are delighted with that. National Jovers with fatigued legs, and you're still coming at high speed. But I'm sure all these women, in a couple of the athletes, the four by one, you're going through with momentum. The four by four, yes, you're a little bit tired, of course, when you give the often run distance of four by 200 meters. Kenya in fifth, but Denmark and Kenya both also setting national records. With that second place. Well, they should be. They set a national record behind Poland. Poland by the Irish setting a national record by. Uh... Well, we can have a look at the, some of those changeovers. The Polish squad all smiles, of course. Double. Look at this first changeover from Poland. Goes off a little early. Does the Polish second leg runner Kamila Chiba? But it doesn't matter because such was the quality of the running from Guzowska.
And then that second change of Chiba to Adamek, the Irish there, having a really good changeover. The uh, Danes not quite.